I'm Maria Luna, I'm nine years old, and I'm an artist and artivist. An artivist means you're an artist who loves nature and uses her art to help raise the awareness about the environment. I've been drawing and painting since I was two years old, and the first thing I drew was two little octopuses. And I love nature and the sea. Um, I live in California, and I want to make sure our oceans are healthy and safe from pollution. The ocean is super important to Earth. But many people are not aware that it's getting really sick and fast with plastic pollution and oil spills. That's why I did Fusion Tide, an art exhibit that tells the story of Bogu Mogul, a plastic monster, and the guardians of the sea who are fighting him. But they need the help of the humans, and so the question is, will the humans help the guardians of the sea, or will they just stand by and let Bogu Mogul destroy our oceans? So the exhibit has gone to a lot of different places around San Francisco, Bay Area, and hundreds of people have seen it, including other kids. The point is to raise awareness about plastic pollution and how we can stop it. I also made up this new element called RE5, which is the element of change. It, its components are reduce, reuse, recycle, and replace, and refuse. We also have a coloring booklet you can download, and I'm working on an illustrated story about it too. Hundreds of people have already seen Fusion Tide and learned about the plastic crisis and how they can help so that the ocean can return to full health again. I have a message to adults. Plastic pollution is worse than you think. Even clothes lose little tiny fibers and they're in our waterways and even carried by the wind all over the planet. Don't throw plastic in the garbage because it goes to landfills and from there out to sea. Also, do not use single-use plastics and try to avoid plastic in as many things you buy as possible. If you have a company that makes plastic, you should try looking into biodegradable plastic. We have too much packaging in our products and a lot of things don't need packaging at all, like fruits and veggies in our grocery stores. All of those changes help with saving the ocean and then reducing pollution. I think art is a powerful way to get people to talk about serious things like pollution of the ocean. And I think telling stories through art is the best way to get everyone engaged in the problem so they feel good about what they can do. So I'll hope you read the story of Boba Mogo and feel inspired to join the movement to protect the oceans. Thank you to the Ocean Future Fund for including me in your World's Ocean Day celebration. We all need to save the oceans together.